Another day of protesting at the Capitol for Kentucky teachers. Most of them were from JCPS. The state's largest school district had about one third of the teachers call out sick last night and through today for the fourth time this year. No other counties around Louisville closed this time. They're continuing to protest what they believe are attacks on public education. Many parents are asking today, what about that agreement that was cut last week between JCPS and JCTA, the Jefferson County Teachers Union? We're not controlled by JCTA. JCTA represents us. And I feel like there's lots of things that JCTA does well for us. But in this instance, we needed to make our voices heard and we needed to come out in mass. And today we also took that question to JCPS Superintendent Marty Polio. Sarah Wagner is here with his reaction. Sarah? Doug, Dr. Polio says the plan clearly didn't solve the sick outs, and that's frustrating for him. He tells us he wants teachers to get the chance to fight in Frankfurt, but he also has to think first and foremost about the 100,000 plus students in the district. A large number of teachers to be able to advocate for the profession in public education while still holding school. That was the district's goal. This is the reality. Kentucky deserves better! Vote no, vote not, not. I was disappointed to see it not be successful. We thought we had put together a pretty good deal where a large number of teachers could still advocate in Frankfurt. Most districts are doing that at smaller number, but obviously we're a much larger district. A deal that teachers don't seem to be down for, forcing the state's largest district to close for the fourth time in two weeks. Definitely both services and instruction uh, are a concern. It stays in the classroom the district will eventually make up, but Dr. Polio says it's about more than academics. Most importantly, you know, we're concerned about the services that kids re that receive at school. So uh, today we've opened up more places for kids to uh, receive free meals across the city. Dr. Polio says the decision to cancel school comes down to student safety. Make sure that, that when we have um, great large number of absences um, in the middle of the night that we can safely cover classes is, is the main thing. And so after that, all I can do is follow policy. With the number so high, Dr. Polio says keeping kids in class simply isn't possible. It's, it's difficult. All we can do is follow our current policy right now. With the days dwindling down until the session ends, it's unclear if JCPS will have more days off. Dr. Polio says the district will continue to keep a close eye on any and all developments. I mean, we'll continue to monitor the situation as we always do. Safety's number one. Um, so I keep saying that we'll continue to monitor that situation. JCPS was supposed to have ACT testing today. Dr. Polio issued a statement last night before the district even canceled class, saying that it would postpone that test until April 24th. He said it wasn't fair to keep students waiting on answers for such a big test. Doug. All right, that ACT test, the talk of all of the parents today as well. Well, the head of the KEA, that's the State Teachers Union, Stephanie Winkler, had some pretty harsh words defending the many teachers crowding the Capitol instead of the classroom. She said, quote, educators are sick and tired of being brushed off and vilified by this governor who has repeatedly disregarded our input and importance to the future of our Commonwealth. Citizens from Pikeville to Paducah have stood behind our efforts because they understand that we are standing up for their children and our students. That's the KEA Today.